the Chandigarh court is currently hearing the Varnika Kundu case. And as per the defense, there are several contradictions in Varnika's complaint of what happened on that fateful night. Now, the defense claims that as per mobile call records, neither was Varnika present at the spot where she was stalked, nor was she present in the police station when an FIR was filed against Vikas Barala and his aide Ashish Kumar. The defense counsel, in fact, goes a step further and says that the CCTV visuals that are doing the rounds are also fake. Today, once again, Varnika Kundu was cross-questioned in court by the defense. Vishal Monga joins us and he will now take us through what happened in court as a stalking case seems to be taking a sensational twist now. Vishal, what happened in court today? See, today the final cross-examination of Varnika Kundu has uh, ended and what we can tell you is that defense is claiming that they have a very strong case on their hand. They have said uh, that uh, this is a whole political motivated case because Varnika father is very near to Bupinder Singh Huda. So that is why this whole case was raked up by the family to which Varnika Kundu has denied this. This was a suggestion put by the defense saying that uh, does your father have a relation, good relations with Bupinder Singh Huda to which she is really denied it. Now important other aspect is that Varnika Kundu clarified that there is some technical fault with the uh, call detail uh, record which has been presented in the court because it's showing various locations which are not uh, practically possible. So that is the claim of Varnika Kundu. But indeed, uh, both defense and Varnika Kundu are claiming victory while defense is saying that they have devastated the theory of Varnika Kundu that she was outside Chandigarh, she was not present at this spot and also they have been trying to prove that on the first charge that was made before the magistrate, the word abduction was not used. The father and the lawyer uncle were present in the police station and later on, uh, improving on the version of Varnika Kundu, they added the word abduction, which is really shocking. They misused the whole process. That is what the defense claim. And an afterthought, the word abduction was added into the FIR. That is the claim of the, uh, the, the defense lawyer. While on the other hand, Varnika Kundu has clarified uh, that she was trying to mean that the word uh, abduction was not used before the magistrate, but her meaning, the interpretation, is that that she was trying to really forcefully take her away. So both defense and Varnika Kundu are claiming victory, but indeed uh, there are several discrepancies, several contradictions which have come in the cross-examination of Varnika Kundu. Now, after the Varnika Kundu cross-examination has finished, uh, the other uh, witnesses would be proved, uh, will be produced in the court. And after that, uh, the 313 statement of the accused would be noted down. And then uh, what we hear is that it is just a matter of days, maybe probably one to two months maximum, that this uh, case would see a final closure. But indeed, what we can tell you till now, both the accused have not been uh, granted bail. They both are in the jail. Almost six to eight months have passed. And what they are claiming is that these discrepancies, these contradictions which have really come in the Varnika Kundu cross-examination could be helpful to them for getting at least a bail uh, uh, in this case.